everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joe Caleb. Please leave a like, subscribe, and welcome to the new subscribers. I have a word from the Lord. The Lord says, protect your wallet. He says, urgency. I know this applies to me as well as others. Uh, the first time that he warned me was uh, a few months ago. Uh, if you're following me, you know that uh, I'm getting ready to do, do some traveling. And uh, he started warning me about pickpockets uh, when I was asleep with a dream. I actually felt a hand going to uh, take my wallet out of my pocket. And it was my own hand, so he used my own hand to warn me, which I thought was pretty ingenious. You know, he does, he's the master genius of the universe, so no surprise there. So we really need to watch our wallets. Uh, you know, thieves out there, uh, they like to take advantage of people who are uh, who are good-hearted people, people like us. So I'm going to go over these steps on wikihow.com on storing and handling your wallet safely. Keep your wallet in your front pocket to keep it close. If you usually store your wallet in your back pocket, keep it from being lifted while you can't see it by moving it into your front pocket. It's a lot harder for a pickpocket to steal your wallet, passport, or money if it isn't easily accessible to someone walking behind you. Belongings can rise up out of back pockets when you walk for a period of time. This makes items in your back pocket much easy, uh, easier to steal. Number two, wrap a rubber band around your wallet so it doesn't slide out easily. Take a standard rubber band and stretch it out over the center of your wallet. Stick it deep in your pocket. If a thief tries to subtly snag your wallet, they'll struggle to pull it from your pocket. This will give you adequate notice that someone is trying to rob you. If you have a choice, use a Velcro or fabric wallet instead of smooth leather. These are much harder to remove without you noticing. Number three, hide your wallet in a hidden or secret pocket if you have one. If you have an item of clothing with a concealed pocket, store your wallet there. Pickpockets tend to look in obvious places for valuables and money, and they won't know where to look if your wallet is inside your jacket, in an invisible seam, or hidden near your breast pocket. If you have to stash something in your jacket, put it in a Velcro pouch. The Velcro will make a bunch of noise if someone tries to reach inside of the pocket. Tip: There are clothes with hidden wallets and pickpockets, oh, and pockets that are designed specifically to foil pickpockets. X officeo. Voyager and Scott E. Vest are the most popular brands that make clothing with hidden pockets. I might have to look into some of that. Four, avoid rummaging through your wallet to count money. If possible, keep a separate money clip to hold your money or store it in a secure pocket. This way you won't need to bring your wallet out to search through it for the bills that you need. If you are keeping your money in a wallet, only pull it out when you absolutely need to pay for something. Hold your wallet with both hands to avoid giving an opportunistic thief a chance to snatch it while you're distracted. If you are storing money in a pocket, pick a front pocket on your pants or jacket. Do not store anything else in the pocket so that thieves think your pocket is empty. This is a good one. Number five, create a fake wallet and store it in your back pocket to trick thieves. Buy a wallet and transfer your cards and money to the new one. Stuff your worn-out wallet with scraps of paper, empty gift cards, and random receipts. When traveling, keep your decoy wallet on you. If you are robbed or someone attempts to steal from you, pull your decoy wallet out, drop it, and run in the other direction. Don't stick your decoy wallet out of your pocket so that's highly visible. You don't want to encourage people to rob you. Now, I realize that not everybody uh, watching is a male and Ladies, we know you have purses too, so I'll try to give you some tips on securing your bag or purse as well, because it's just important. Your purse is just as important as our wallets are. One, choose a purse with a complex, complex latch to deter pickpockets. If you typically use a purse with no clothing mechanism, get a purse with a twisting latch or zipper. These purses are harder to open, and a pickpocket likely won't bother trying to slip their hand inside. If possible, use a purse with a lock on it to ensure that nothing goes missing while you're traveling. The smaller you can make your purse, the better. Big purses provide more space for a thief to operate. 2. Shorten the straps on your bag or purse to keep it close to you. <coughs> Excuse me. 
To avoid having your bag ripped away from you, keep your bag or backpack as close as you can to your body. Pull the straps on your purse or backpack to shorten them and keep the bag closer to your body. This will make it much harder for someone to reach into your bag while you're traveling. If you really want to avoid giving pickpockets a chance at your bag, you can walk around it, walk around with it hanging on your chest instead of your back. 3. Hold your bag or backpack instead of setting it down when you sit. If you take a seat at a restaurant or sit down on the bus, rotate your bag around your shoulder and hold it on your lap. If you set it down on the floor or hang it off the back of the chair, it'll be an easy target for thieves. You're also more likely to forget about your bag when you get out of your seat if you set it down. Keep your hands on your valuables and your bag in front of you at all times. 4. Transfer the contents of your purse to a fanny pack. A purse strap can be cut, making it easy to rip the bag away from you in a matter of seconds. However, a nylon fanny pack that sits tightly around your waist is much harder to cut or remove. Take your purse and move the cards and cash to your fanny pack. Tighten the straps around your waist and rotate the bag so that the pouch sits just below your belly button. This will make it easier to keep an eye on your valuables. Do not use a fanny pack with the standard plastic buckle. Instead, get an anti-theft fanny pack online. These packs have tougher buckles and can often be locked to prevent thieves from accessing their contents. And there's a method three. Uh, this is keeping valuables out of reach. One, take what you need and leave the rest in your hotel safe. I guess this is just for traveling, but I suppose it could be a safe at home if you're at home, maybe moving to a new city. Most hotels have safes so that travelers can store important belongings while the room is being cleaned or they're out on the town. Before you go out, place your passport, house keys, excess cash, and expensive jewelry in the safe and lock it. If you are pickpocketed, you'll only lose some of your money and belongings. Always leave some extra cash in a safe. In the event that you are pickpocketed, you'll still be able to get a ride and feed yourself before you can rectify the situation. 2. Keep your phone in a concealed pocket and avoid taking it out. Keep your phone in an interior pocket that isn't easily accessible to pickpockets. Try your best to avoid pulling it out frequently, especially when you're focused on finding directions. If you do have to take your phone out, hold it firmly with both hands and don't stare at it for more than 5 to 10 seconds at a time. When you take your phone out to take photos, always put it back in your pocket when you're done. Turn down offers from strangers to take your photo with your phone. Print the map that you need at the hotel or wherever you stay, I guess, to avoid needing to use your phone to figure out where you are. Even if you don't want to use it, it's still a good idea to keep your phone on you. You never know when you're going to need excuse me, to make an emergency call. 3. Tuck your necklace into your shirt and leave your watch at the hotel. If you wear jewelry, tuck your necklace into your shirt so they can't be ripped off your neck. I'll have to remember that. Don't bring your watch with you if it's worth more than a few dollars. Avoid bringing jewelry with a lot of gemstones on them, regardless of whether they're real or not. Unless they're incredibly loose, your rings are probably fine. They're pretty hard to lift without you noticing. Be wary of wearing rings with gemstones in them, though. If you're wearing a lot of jewels, pickpockets are more likely to assume that you're carrying a lot of cash. If you can, don't bring any jewelry on your trip, unless you're going out to a fancy dinner or show. There's no need to bring it along. Well, it's very important, and the Lord is, is leading me to say that, you know, we really need to protect our wallets. We need to guard ourselves from thieves. Uh, I always like to walk in the Spirit, and by walk in the Spirit, I mean always being sensitive to the prompts and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Uh, this comes by uh, building a relationship in prayer, reading the Word, and meditation with the Lord, and the closer you get to Him, the easier you'll be able to walk in the Spirit. Um, I actually something that I something that I did for uh, many years as I was getting to the point to where I can audibly hear the Lord was, uh, you know, it says, uh, "Knock and the door shall be opened." I have been knocking on the Bible for years. <laughs> I, I knocked a lot. I started knocking. I think the first time I ever read that, I started knocking on the Bible. And uh, 
I, you know, I think it works. That's one of the things that, that, uh, I think it should show the Lord how much, you know, I really, that I really want to be close to him and how much I really love him. Um, I wanted to share one other thing. Um, I'm in Embassy Suites because the Lord told me to come here. Uh, I am accepting donations. Uh, if the Lord leads you to sow a seed, uh, it's much needed, and I, I much appreciate it. Uh, may he magnify you and uh, uh, increase you a hundredfold. But the day before I was that I came to the hotel, you know, I put all my stuff in storage, and I, I asked the Lord to guide me on what to bring. The night before, he told me blanket. He told me to bring a blanket. And I, I thought it was kind of strange, but... Uh, you know, I've learned that when the Lord says something, I should take heed to it because it might be something that seems uh, so innocuous or that it won't matter, but uh, it it can really end up causing problems if I don't heed his warnings or do as he says. So the first night I slept here uh, in the hotel room, um, it, it gets really cold in the room. It's an exterior room, and uh, so... It's really cold, but then when I put the blanket on that's on the bed in there, it's super, super hot. It's like a shell. So either I was freezing cold or I put the blanket on and I was just pouring sweat under there. So I don't know what that thing's made of. But uh, luckily, the Lord, well, not luckily, uh, thankfully, the Lord warned me and I brought a blanket and it's the perfect blanket. Uh, if, if I hadn't listened to him or if he hadn't warned me, I would be very uncomfortable staying here. <clears throat> and you know, that, that leads me to, uh, to talk about uh, how much we should trust the Lord. You know, He really cares about us. He cares about every aspect of our lives. If the Lord won't even let me sleep under a blanket that's too hot, uh, what, what is He going to let happen to me? Nothing. The Lord is for me. The Lord is for you. He loves us. He wants us to walk in his precepts. He wants us. He wants to increase us. He wants to exalt us for his name's sake. And I give all praise and honor and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I love you. Um, I will. I will talk to you soon. Uh, and thank you for all the donations. It's much needed. And uh, God bless you.